So a lot of people asked me to make a how-to video, um, how to make a slingshot for my new design, this new Phoenix-like design, what I call it. And uh, this is a slingshot that you shoot um, in the so-called hammer grip style. So you shoot it like this. So you don't put your fingers on the fork or something. You just hold it like you would hold a baseball bat, really solid and strong. And then you have a very strong slingshot. This slingshot is made out of multiplex wood. It's important because this can be used with very strong rubber. Multiplex is a wood that is almost unbreakable. And the uh, how-to video shows you how to make it. These are the tools that we're going to need. A power saw, could also be a band saw if you happen to have one. A set of files, some sandpaper, different sizes. So this is the wood that we're going to need, just a piece of multiplex board. Please make sure you don't use any other board but a multiplex material, laminated, because the design of the slingshot um, is having very thin forks and um, if you use a standard board then they make break off. So step one, download the PDF file. You find the link in the text to this video and um, print the PDF out and cut out the frame. Next, take a pen and transfer the shape of the slingshot to the wooden board, like this. Now saw it out. So we have the basic shape of the slingshot now. Now we have to round it and smoothen it. Okay, so this is the result of the rounding process. This is how it's supposed to look like now. Very smooth, very nice to the touch. Now we have to cut grooves for the bands. So as you see, the round file did a fairly good job in cutting clean grooves for the band attachment. That's it. The slingshot frame is basically finished. So that is the final slingshot. I stained this a little bit to give it some kind of a nice touch. It's very smooth, very soft as silk and it, it fits really well in my hand. Also, these slingshot dimensions have one big advantage for aiming, for those of you who want to aim with a slingshot. Because what you can do is, you can use the top of the upper fork end as an aiming point. Since when you close your right eye and you look with your left eye and draw it to the corner of your mouth, then that is exactly dead on where you're going to hit. Depending on uh, the distance, you of course have to make adjustments for the height, but sideways, this is perfectly the spot that you're going to hit. So it's also a great target shooter. Well, good luck trying to make your own one. Thanks and bye-bye.